Hello all. Welcome to our video where we discuss LMTC registration. We have been getting many requests from the importer community in India about their shipments getting held up by customs on the account of not having LMPC registration. Are your shipments being held at customs because of LMPC registration? If yes, then this video is for you. Let's begin with what exactly is LMPC registration and who does it apply to? LMPC stands for Legal Metrology for Package Commodities. As per the Legal Metrology Package Commodities Rules 2011, any entity involved in the sales, distribution or delivery of any package commodity needs to get LMPC registration. This rule also applies to importers who are importing commodities that are pre-packaged for sales and distribution in India. It is important as it certifies compliance with legal metrology rules ensuring accuracy, transparency and fairness in package commodities sold in India. The legal metrology rules prescribes certain disclosures to be labelled on the pre-packaged commodities. Without these disclosures of mandatory information, you cannot import, sell, manufacture, distribute or pack the pre-packaged commodities in India. The information required to be disclosed includes date of manufacturing of import or packing, date of expiry in case of food items, maximum retail price inclusive of GST, quantity of the product, generic name of the product, net contents of the product in terms of weights, length or volume, country of origin of the imported goods and details of the consumer care. So yes, if you are an importer of pre-packaged commodity and you are going to sell the commodity domestically in the same packaging that it was imported in, then you have to get LMPC registration. But in importer terms, LMPC registration is not called as LMPC registration, but it is called as registration for import of pre-packaged commodities. But for the sake of simplicity, let's refer to it as LMPC registration in this video. Are there any exemptions under LMPC rules? Yes. In the following cases, it is not mandatory to obtain the LMPC registration in India. Commodities having a net weight of 10 ml or 10 grams or less. Agricultural products packed in weights of more than 50 kgs. Packages that contain fast food items packed by restaurants or hotels. Formulations that contain package authorized by the Drugs Price Control Order 1995. Packages that contain goods weighing more than 25 liters or 25 kgs except fertilizers or cements sold in bags weighing up to 50 kgs. Package goods that are targeted at service institutions or institutional consumers like railways, airways, hospitals and hotels. Now, what are the documents required for obtaining LMPC registration? The documents include KYC documents like PAN card of the company, PAN card and Aadhaar card of the authorized signatory, company IC, GST registration certificate, incorporation certificate, name and description of the commodities imported and lastly pictures of the discloses as mentioned in the previous part of our video. Now what is the procedure to obtain LMPC registration? Step 1. Preparation of documents. Gather the necessary documents that we discussed in the earlier part of the video. Step 2. Application with the relevant state legal metrology department. Submit the documents along with a duly filled up and signed form with the relevant state legal metrology department. Step 3. Payment of registration fee. Pay the registration fees as prescribed by the state government. Currently, the registration fee is Rs 500. Step 4. Verification and inspection. After receiving your application, the concerned authorities may conduct a physical verification and inspection of your industrial premises. Step 5. Approval and issuance of certificate. If your application is found to be in order and complies with the regulation, the authorities will approve your registration and issue an LMPC certificate. Now, how can AV International assist you in this? AV International is India's leading export and import consultant. We offer expert guidance to help you decide whether LMBC registration is necessary for business or if it can be completely avoided. Additionally, we handle the entire process of obtaining LMBC registration for your company along with post-registration formalities such as amendments, renewal and extensions. With a track record of assisting over 200 importers, we are well equipped to address any queries you may have. Please feel free to get in touch in case of any queries on the same. For more information about our company, please visit our website www.avigroup.in. If you like our content, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.